Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve this given quadrat equation by completing the square. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that this quadratic equation contains a radical or a square root of 7. So the very first thing, let's get started, is make sure that you have only x variables on the left hand side that means this constant negative 40 must go on the other side so we're going to have on the left hand side is 5x square minus square root of 7x equal to this negative 40 becomes positive 40. In the next step just let's observe this one the leading coefficient of x square is 5 we wanted to make it 1. The only way we can make it 1 by just dividing it by 5. If you divide this one by 5, you must divide across the board each and every term by 5. So we are going to get 1x square minus square root of 7 divided by 5x equals to this reduces to simply 8. The next step is I want you to look at the coefficient of x and also only we're going to look at this part. Don't worry about this negative sign. Just go ahead and write down negative this by the way square root of 7 over 5 right up here. This one and then I want you to multiply whatever this fraction is times 1 over 2. It's the same as like we are dividing by 2. So let's simplify this one. Once you simplify this one, that's going to give you square root of 7 divided by at the denominator 2 times 5 is 10. And the final step is just simply go ahead and square this fraction. So this is the quantity that we're going to add on the both side of this equation. Let's go ahead and uh, finish that thing off. x square minus 7 square root over 5x plus equal to 8 plus. So that's what we're going to do right now. This quantity which is square root of 7 divided by 10 square on this side and the same quantity I'm going to write down on the right hand side as well. Now I want you to just focus on the left hand side of this equation. So this represents a complete square and so we're going to use this well-known formula to complete this square. So I can write this one as x minus square root of 7 divided by 10 power 2. So once again, let me just uh, make it clear. This x came over here. This quantity is right up here and this negative sign showed up in the middle and you don't have to worry about the middle numbers. Don't worry about this thing. Equals to simply we got 8 plus this thing over here I can write square root of 7 over 10 square could be written as square root I can split them up square divided by 10 square so square and square root cancels out we got simply 10 uh, 7 divided by 10 square is 100 so simply we got this thing is going to be 7 over 100 and in the next step we're going to write down x minus square root of 7 divided by 10 square equals to now I want you to focus this side on the right hand side I just copied that one over here let's add these over here 8 I can make 8 as 8 over 1 to make it a fraction now let's crisscross to simplify these fractions 
let's cross multiply 8 times 100 is 800 and then whatever this sign plus and then 7 times 1 is 7 divided by 1 times 100 you multiply them so we simply got 807 over 100 that is we got the reduced answer so I'm going to write it on this side that is going to become 807 divided by 100 so in the next step we want to remove this square so I'm going to take the square root on both side on this side and on this side as well so this square and square root they undo each other they cancel each other out we got x minus square root of 7 divided by 10 equals to positive or negative square root of 8 oh, 7 divided by square root of 100 so the next step is x minus square root of 7 over 10 equals to positive or negative we're going to leave this thing a to 7 on the top the square root of 100 is 10 since we want to isolate x i want you to move this this fraction on the other side so we got x equals to this negative fraction become positive fractions square root of 7 over 10 plus r minus square root of 8 or 7 divided by 10 so the next step is since we have the same fractions so same denominator rather denominator same I'm going to write it as a common denominator as 10 and then this is going to be a square root of 7 plus r minus square root of 8 or 7 let's separate these two quantities split them up with a positive and negative sign so the first one is going to be x equal to square root of 7 plus square root of 8 or 7 divided by 10 the other solution is going to be x equal to square root of 7 minus square root of 8 or 7 divided by 10 and finally here is our solution in a set notation you can see that one two solutions and here is your assignment can you do this problem by using the quadratic formula this time you can solve on your own you can pause the video luckily I have already uploaded this video as well go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye